Hello to everyone watching this footage. It's Leviathan here again. And to start things off, I'm going to introduce myself to newcomers. I'm a high functioning autistic, I'm obsessed with fiction, and I'm planning to make my own creative universe like the late Stanley did. I'll just cut to the chase. Beanborg. Real name inapplicable. Height 2 million feet. Weight unrevealed. Status villain and enemy of Bean. Base mobile. Intelligence four and a half brains. Behavior stubborn and destructive. She'll do anything to utterly destroy Bean along with the rest of innocence. Lethality extremely deadly to most opponents. Weaknesses water. She hates being torn apart. Powers she has the same powers as Bean. She also possesses the ability to project heat beams from her eyes, along with having a regeneration system and a high intellect. Eyes deep red, hair deep black and shoulder length. Origin One time, the master decided to create another bean to serve as the sidekick of the original. After constructing her android duplicate, she named her Beanborg and told her to help Bean with a fight against the spider-headed web. However, the damage put onto Beanborg made an irreversible altering in her coordinates, forever changing her into a remorseless villain. After attempting to destroy Bean, she was finally defeated when Princess Chang arrived and tore her apart. Outraged of her first defeat, Beanborg is nowadays plotting to kill her innocent counterpart, along with being good friends with Nazi. Costume. She wears the same clothes as her counterpart. Team Solitary with Nazi and other villains. Original Inspiration, Bean, and Androids. Here's the next character. Moonslasher. Real name, Gala Moonbeam. Height, 6 feet 3 inches to 8 feet 8 inches. Weight, 206 pounds to 384 pounds. Status, Hero, and Expert Gypsy. Base, United Kingdom, Mobile. Intelligence, four and a half brains. Behavior, flirtatious and loving. She has a strong passion for meat. Lethality, extremely deadly to most opponents. Weaknesses, silver. Her curse isn't contagious. Powers, in her humanoid form, she's a gifted spellcaster and martial artist. In her werewolf form, she has great strength and agility, night vision, sharp claws and teeth, acute senses, and is an uncanny hunter. Regardless, she is virtually immortal. She later gave herself the ability to change whenever. Eyes, vivid purplish. Hair, deep black and luscious. Origin. Gala Moonbeam was the daughter of a gypsy couple who had her prematurely and they tried using magic to say make her healthy enough to survive. She became immortal, but at the cost of her developing lycanthropy. During the day she appeared normal, but at night she's covered in fuzz. When her parents died of old age, she eventually decided to travel alone in her family caravan, drawn by two white horses that she charmed so she wouldn't eat them. She later traveled to a village where she met and fell in love with the everyday man named George Farmer who's apparently the local keeper of the livestock. After he found out about her curse, he was worried at first, but they finally decided to marry by the next week. They traveled to the border between Scotland and England for a honeymoon, where they had a daughter named Lucy, the future Red Howler. Team Costumes She wears gypsy clothing in her humanoid form, but as a werewolf, she's covered with purplish silver fur. Team, solitary, or with other heroes or inspiration, werewolves. Here's the last character. George Farmer. Real name, none. Height, 6 feet. Weight, 162 pounds. Status, human, and lover of Moonslasher. Base, United Kingdom, mobile. Intelligence, 2.5 brains. Behavior, compassionate and confident. He doesn't mind his wife's curse. Lethality. Lacking, he's virtually harmless. Weaknesses, he doesn't handle with stress very well. Powers, he has integrity in his skill at farming, agriculture, and finance. He later receives slow aging from his wife. Eyes light blue, 
hair bright red. Origin George Harmer used to think he'd never find love until he met Gayla Moonbeam at the local butcher shop. They became great lovers, and George finally desired to marry her. He took Gayla to a walk in the forest to propose, but she noticed the sunset and immediately ran, abandoning him in the woods. That night he got jumped and was almost killed by a gang of robbers, but they heard a distant howling, and a werewolf attacked and killed the robbers. When he saw that the werewolf had Gala's eyes, he immediately passed out. He eventually woke up in her family caravan, where she told him that she's indeed a werewolf. After hearing that, George was heartbroken and stated that he was trying to ask for her hand in marriage, and now has doubts. When she heard this, Gala calmed him down and said yes. They got married by the next week, and they traveled to the border between Scotland and England. At their wedding night, they drank some formulas during dinner. George became immune to aging, and Gayla granted herself with the ability to change at any time. They eventually had a daughter which they named Lucy, and they, for a time, didn't worry about a thing. Costume. He wears the usual farmer clothing. Team suck. He works and lives with Gayla. Original inspiration, farmers. Well, those are the three characters, and just so you guys know, I finally made it to 6,000 views and 63 subscribers last I checked. At least 6,001 as far as I know. I really hope that I could pull it off with the next 4,000 views and such, you know? And if you guys want, you could like, subscribe, comment down below, and share if you want. It's your choice, you know how it is. Hope you guys have a fine rest of the month and such, and until next time... In transmission.